with the finest wheat and satisfied them with honey from the rock. Hello. Thank you for joining us. When we come together as a community of faith to celebrate the mysteries that make us who we are, we begin always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of the triune God be with each of you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Here in love with God, we stand in need of God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, mercy. have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, you. we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine, and being a priest of God most high, he blessed Abram with these words. Blessed be Abram by God most high, the creator of heaven and earth, and blessed be God most high, who delivered your foes into your hands. Then Abram gave him a tenth of everything. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are, you are a, a priest, priest forever, forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You, you are, are a priest, priest forever, forever in, in the line of Melchizedek. Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You, you are, are a priest, priest forever in the, in the line of Melchizedek. Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. You, you are, are a priest, priest forever in the, in the line, line of, of Melchizedek. Melchizedek. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds about the kingdom of God, and he healed those who needed to be cured. As the day was drawing to a close, the twelve approached him and said, Dismiss the crowd so they can go to the surrounding villages and farms and find lodgings and provisions, for we are in a deserted place here. He said to them, Give them some food yourselves. They replied, Five loaves and two fish are all we have, unless we ourselves go and buy food for all these people. Now the men there numbered about 5,000. Then he said to his disciples, Have them sit down in groups of about 50. They did so and made them all sit down. Then, taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing over them, broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied. And when the leftover fragments were picked up, they filled twelve wicker baskets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, thank you for joining us. It's always a, an honor to spend this morning with you, especially on this feast, what's well, a solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ. And it's fitting that in the Gospel account from Luke, we have this, you know, the sharing of the, it's not a story, but it actually happened, this miracle that Jesus performed, feeding thousands of people, and not just 5,000. Think that just refers to the number of males there. Think there were females there, there were children there. It was many more than 5,000. And there have been people, even theologians, who question what is the actual miracle in this gospel account? Is it that Jesus actually produced plenty of food so that all of those thousands of people could truly eat as much as they wanted and be satisfied? Or is it that the people themselves might have eaten perhaps just a crumb and in doing so were satisfied? You know, we know that in these gospel accounts, especially this account, it makes it clear that Jesus performed the miracle. The miracle comes from Jesus and not from the people. You know, he could have, Jesus could have waved his arm over the people, his divine arm, and they would have no longer have been hungry. But he didn't. He actually multiplied those five loaves and those two fish to feed thousands of people in a way that we can't understand. You know, in this gospel account, there's not any description of the people seeing Jesus, all this food, the loaves of bread just kind of rising. All of a sudden there were five, and then there's a hundred, and then there's thousands, or two fish over here on the other side. So I mean, there's two fish, and then there's hundreds of fish, and there's thousands of fish. That's not part of this gospel, at least not in the description. You know, it's something that we cannot understand. But perhaps the most important part of this gospel account is the role of the disciples. You know, they didn't understand what was happening. They were going to Jesus, how can this possibly happen? How can we feed thousands of people when we only have five loaves and two fish? They don't understand it. But Jesus performs the miracle. And how does that miracle impact the people there? Again, he didn't just wave his hand. You know, he looks to God. He says a blessing. You know, and then what does he do? He gives the food to the disciples to bring to the people, to place in front of the people. You know, we have to understand our role as followers of Christ, 
our roles to be the means of bringing the many different miraculous powers of Jesus Christ to the people around us. And how amazing is it that Jesus Christ himself chooses us, weak human beings, to bring his miracles to other people. Just like with those disciples in the gospel account we heard. And we have many, many examples of the same type of thing happening every day of our lives. You know, in a few moments, bread and wine right here on this altar will become the true body and blood of Christ. And is it Father Rich who will make this miracle happen? No. It's Jesus Christ himself who will make this miracle happen. But that miracle comes to us through Father Rich, through human hands, something we cannot explain that happens on this altar, but something we know impacts us. There are many other examples. Think about, you know, physicians. A few years ago, I had an operation, people might remember, a little bit of skin cancer on my forehead. An outpatient procedure, but the miracle of one doctor diagnosing what that little mark on my forehead was, knowing that it was something that needed to be removed, and a different surgeon doing the procedure. And right before that procedure, I mentioned to the surgeon, who I didn't even know if she was Christian or Catholic, I asked her, do you ever think about the fact that God is using you to bring his miraculous healing to others? And she stepped back a little ways, and I think there were some tears coming from, from her eyes. You know, then I had to get her settled down because I didn't want someone in that condition beginning to carve on my forehead. But she got the message. She got the message. And we should think of ourselves about how we are called to be the means to bring God's miracles to other people. And when we experience those miracles, we are truly experiencing Jesus Christ, his body and his blood, his soul and his divinity. And each one of us are called as disciples, just like those disciples at the multiplication of the loaves and the fishes, to recognize the miracles of Jesus, to bring the power of those miracles to other people, to the people around us. We are called to be disciples as they were disciples. And a perfect symbol, actually a real happening related to this, in many of our parishes this weekend, there will be Eucharistic processions in which Jesus himself, in a monstrance, perhaps we've seen these, you know, bringing a procession focused on the body and blood of Jesus Christ, many going through communities, through cities, you know, bringing Jesus out to the people. Perhaps they don't understand. Perhaps many people are wondering, what are these people doing with this thing and this gold thing? And hopefully they'll come, we understand it to be not a what in that gold thing, but a who. A who that is the source of unlimited love and mercy. A who that created us. A who that calls us to be with him for eternal life to experience fully his body and blood. So on the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Jesus Christ, let's pray for that wisdom and that strength to understand his miracles, to recognize his miracles, and to understand our roles as disciples to bring the power of those miracles to others. We are a community of faith. Let us together say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, 
Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As leaders of their faith will make, oh, wait, let us bring our prayers, our petitions, and our hopes before our God. As leaders of their faithful, may Pope Francis, Bishop Donald, and all faithful ministers of the Holy Eucharist instill a true sense of reverence in the Eucharist that provides strength to the body and soul, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In their decision-making, may all who hold public office promote justice, peace, and recognition of the poor and vulnerable, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That God will continue to guide and bless all fathers and fathers-to-be, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all living in their homes or in an assisted living environment, those who suffer in any manner, or those challenged by disabilities, May they draw strength from the Eucharist, including through the spiritual communion as presented in today's Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who have died, especially Florence Laufenberg, whom we remember in this Mass, now share in the Holy Eucharistic banquet of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our personal intentions, which we now offer in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, you've heard the things we have given voice to, and you know those things in our hearts. We gather them, offer them to you, and await your loving response that comes always through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thus he, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer. For the field work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. Lord, wash away our iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to our Almighty God. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the for praise the and the glory of his name, name for, for our good, good of and all, all his holy, holy church. church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faith by this sacred mystery, you make them holy, so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so, we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. 
Therefore, all creatures of heaven on earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out together and acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, and, and profess, profess your resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her chaste and holy spouse, blessed apostles, all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is our Lord and our Redeemer. He is our brother. And alive in our hearts, he teaches us to pray. So we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with all of you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace with your Father. Peace. 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 Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper 
of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him, says the Lord. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Almighty God bless each one of you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We thank you for joining us and our presider, Father Rich Litzo, oh, a member of the Blessed Sacrament Dominican Friary in Madison and parochial vicar of Our Lady Queen of Peace in Madison in this celebration of the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ, Corpus Christi. Serving as deacon and giving the homily was Deacon Jim Hagemeyer, the Associate Director of the Apostolate for Persons with Disabilities of the Diocese of Madison. I am Dennis McKinley of Our Lady Queen of Peace Parish and of Edgewood High School of the Sacred Heart in Madison. It was a pleasure to share in this te special television ministry as your lector commentator this morning. Our brothers and sisters of the television mass faith community who are deaf or hard of hearing were able to share with us in worship thanks to closed captioning provided by the apostolate and the American Sign Language interpretation of Mary Fruits of St. Dennis Parish in Madison. This program of hope and inspiration is made possible by the generosity, public service, and sincere concern of the owner, management, and staff of WISC-TV for the spiritual well-being of persons of all faiths living with a disability. We remain most appreciative of this great gift. This ministry of the apostolate remains a cent of central importance, and we thank you for making it a part of your personal faith life. Don't forget to reserve your tickets for the Apostolate Day at the Duck Pond with the Madison Mallards baseball team on July 13th. You can do so by calling the number on your screen. May you have a beautiful week, and may the words of age-old hymn, O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, live in your hearts. <laughs>